getting sick of wearing this hat. If it weren't for the fact it's so comfortable, I wouldn't. About time somebody sponsored me. A well, well branded name and paid me for wearing their hats in the winter. Anyway, apart from that, there comes a time in a man's life when he has to have a bit of a clear out. And I've been working on this private job, as you well know. And uh, I've seen a few bits that would uh, benefit me in my in my own house. And the man of the the estate has been so generous and kind. He's given me about three different bits now: cabinet, uh, a, a marble green and black marble step, which I'm, I'm going to use. And he's just given me a great big oak beam. Now it needs a bit of work. I'm going to plane it all down. It's rotting in the middle. Uh, I'm going to put some hardener in that. And I'm going to tip some clear liquid resin so you can see the rot in the middle look, look brilliant. And yeah, so he's given me this beam. I've just put it in my car. I'm just going to show you where this beam originated from. Solid oak, mate. Weighs a ton. My axle's on the floor. Oh, God. My tyres are going flat. So I'm going to show you where, where I've had it from and uh, just give you a quick look at it in my car. Oh, yeah. Let's have a look. The beam originally was that concrete lintel which goes all the way across now it's not the the beam i've got now it's not the full length it must have stamped in half or something it's about that sort of length you know what i mean where am i about there but solid solid oak yeah so it's in the car now it might look a bit naff but it won't be there it is look beautiful Imagine some clear liquid resin with a bit of glitter in there. Get it all planed down. It's all the way in the back of my car, look. You fight or I get anything in the Peugeot 308, I tell you. There it is. So yeah. You wait till that's all exposed oak. Get some liquid resin in the middle. Look awesome, won't it? So yeah, there you go. Oh keep you uh, informed on the progress of the beam should look pretty awesome the time i finished but i tell you what he's given me some lovely stuff dead kind of him but you know you can't keep these things forever can you you know what i mean there comes a time when you've you've used it abused it and uh you've got no real need for it yourself and you know you one man's junk is another man's treasure isn't it so yeah that's going above me fireplace I've got a crappy piece of wood there. Got it from TP, you know what I mean? It looks all right, but that's going to look shitloads better. Got some, like, stone um, brackets, and that's going to go on the top. Oh, so, yeah. Stay tuned. <laughs>
Um, the snippet of video you've just watched was made in March 2019. I know, a long while ago. So this beam has been sitting over this fireplace for just under two years. So it's fully dry, uh, shouldn't expand or contract anymore. So I'm basically, I'm ready to start getting it sorted out for the resin to go in, in the uh, top section of this beam. So what I'm gonna do, as you can see, it's, it's got dirty on this front, front uh, portion here. So I've got to plane the front of that down again, so it's nice and clean. And to do that, I'm gonna be using my DeWalt uh, battery operated plane on with the bag on it. Look at that, baby. Hey, you have to buy that separate. So yeah, I'm gonna use this to plane down the front. And I also, I wanna get this back section here plane down so it's a little bit lower because I've only got about 10 litres of resin to go in that section. And that, that's cost me like 150 quid. It's different stuff uh, from what I use on the bathroom project. So I don't, I'd rather have a bit left than not enough. I don't want to be buying any more. Here's the resin I'm going to use. It's a deep cast, um, crystal clear epoxy resin. Um, you, if, if I want to use your lot in one go, just mix that all in jobs are good, but I do need to save a little bit so I can use like a mohair roller on the front, round the sides, etc. Um, when I finish doing the, the, the top portion of resin to get that shelf effect on, on that uh, rotting timber. It's not rotting, it has had a bit of resin poured in there to harden it all up. So I, I have got to tip it in that section, but yeah, uh, 150 quid for this. <laughs> oh yeah, I do, I do you know what? expensive so if you ever get to buy anything like a resin table and uh, the price is through the roof you know why so the, the first thing I've got to do is plane that front down plane that sand the edges down a bit right when I've done that and I, I'm happy with it with the depth uh, of where the resin's got to go I've then got ply which I'm gonna I'm just gonna screw it to be fair and then fill the holes in with some timber or something so I'm just going to put that there, and it's got a water way around, and I've got to make sure it's sealed so the resin doesn't seep behind it, etc. So yeah, that's about it. Let me get cracking on with that, get it planed, and uh, I'll show you me, me pulling the timber round it as if it's a box, ready for the resin. <laughs> see with this piece it's up there about half inch I don't want too much of a uh, too much depth on the top of that beam because I don't want to be buying any more resin as long as it's got a flat surface I'm an happy chappy so that bit there has been screwed on uh, into place I'm just going to do this uh, front section here uh, and then I'm going to do both both sides when I'm happy with that, that it's all fitting snug, I'm going to take it all off, put some uh, decorator's cork around the uh, edge, all the way around, uh, to make sure it's not going to leak when I tip the resin in. Because uh, last thing you want is it dripping down the side of the, uh, uh, of the ply panels that have been fixed. So yeah, let's crack on and get all the bits of ply fitted snug. <laughs> right, I fitted one side, so it's easy to hold. I've just got that lined up. Right, I have got 
got it level like that on the board, uh, but it doesn't really matter to be fair because when you tip the resin in, it'll just get, get its own level, won't it? As long as the beam's flat, uh, when I tip the resin in, I'll be okay. But I just want to get all the screws in so I know exactly. I mean, it does fit quite tight, but resin's a little bit thicker than water, and it? it will find its own way out if it's given half the chance. I mean, realistically, I wanted some clamps, but even if I got the clamps there, uh, uh, I'd be struggling to put clamps on the end, wouldn't I? So. That's fitting quite snug, I think, with a bit of a... Uh, Some form of sealant in there, I'll be all right. I've put all the bits of ply on, and basically it's just like that. I put all the screws in the positions I think where it'll hold the ply up against the side of the beam and the front and the back as best as possible. Obviously, I am going to put. Um, decorator's cork, I think, is easiest to get off at the end. Uh, on the other side of the ply. I'll show you anyway, I'll show you what I'm on about, but yeah, that's it. Yep. So, yeah, ready to go. Just going to get the cork on, I think. I'll show you that while I'm on the way just pouring the cork on just to seal it up when it's screwed on so nothing goes down the down the edges, you know what I mean? Because as you can see, look, you're not going to want that here because it'll seat down the edge. So, yeah, let's get some decorators cork. Right then, basically what I'm going to do is just put cork wherever I feel it's needed, just below the resin line on all that beam and then screw it back on. Yeah, so that's basically it. There, I'm going to put the uh, ply board back on. It'll flatten that out and it's easy to get off when I want to take the panels off. So I'm just going to put the board back on now. Right, I'm starting to run out of light now, so <clears throat> that's about it for today. But that's basically it. Just sealed up down there. Just don't want it running down the back of the ply, do you know what I mean? But yeah. So that's all ready to go. So I'll crack on with that. Probably in the morning, do you know what I mean? Should look pretty good, I think. Pretty good. What I'm gonna do now is get a bit of oil, just any uh, engine oil or something like that. I'm just gonna put a light coat of oil on this here all the way round so the resin doesn't stick to it and it's easy to get the uh, ply board off uh, when it's all done but I don't want too much on it because I don't want it all dripping everywhere so that's all I'm doing just a very slight bit of oil on that edge there it's time to tip some resin in uh, I'm just going to pull a bit, bit in at a time because I want to make sure it's not going to uh, leak down the side of the uh, Ply. Oh, this will be fun, won't it? Yeah. All right. I hope I don't get short on money. So it's coming down near that edge. Yeah. 
forward, look at that. Seems to be okay down there anyway. So far. Like I say, this is the uh, deep cast resin, two to one ratio. So I'm just checking down the side, make sure it's not leaking. Here's where I've got to so far. Um, I've been pouring the resin in, uh, in sections, uh, basically because where you see that whitish coloured line, so, uh, silicon, that big groove there, um, it just kept pissing out uh, underneath where that steel is there, just kept coming out. So I've had to seal it somehow. Um, I've just got one more pour of resin to do. But to be honest, I think it looks all right. And you won't be able to see the actual line in that color. Um, when you're sitting at the front, it's only because you're looking at it from the top and you won't be really looking at it from the, from the top. But I think it looks all right, to be fair. Well, there's not a lot I can do about it, to be honest. I've had to do something, but yeah, I think it looks all right. Looks like I put white resin in. There we go. <laughs> you can't really see it. It'll be all right when it's took off around the side. But yeah, just got one more pour to do. I'll just, I mean, I'll, actually, it, it's at night now, so you're getting a false, uh, sort of, you're getting a false impression of what it looks like. I'll just turn this light off and you can see. It's a bit dark now. Not much light in this room, I think I need to change the bulb. But that gives you a better idea of what it looks like. So, yeah, another pour. Jobs are good. I'm going to put the final coat of resin on the top of this it's near enough completely flat i've just got a bit down here that's sticking out um i am hoping it's going to be the last one whether i've got to mix up a little bit more i don't know uh there is a cat in this house so i do get the odd air dropping on the top um uh, which can't do anything about but when it's completely done and bone dry it will get a light sand over and i'll, I'll mix a small bit of resin up when the sides roll off and everything. And uh, I'll just get a mohair roller and ro roll around the sides and on the top uh, to get to eliminate any um, hairs on the top or any drips down the side or anything like that. There it goes. <sighs> just gonna tip it down the middle. I am doing this at night, that's why I've had to put a A light on. But that, that's why I had to put the silicon. I couldn't think of anything else to put down that centre crack. Um, but like I say, you, you won't really see it from the front. And the idea of put, putting resin on this is so um, I can use it as a shelf as well. But I still think, I don't think it looks bad with that silicon down the middle, to be honest.
So I'm just going to lean that up somewhere like that so the excess drips into the corner. Just got a bit of a plastic spatula here so I can spread it along a bit and make sure it covers all over. Should be about it. Right then, boys and girls, I've took all the ply off from around, oh, from around the resin. Uh, need to say, some of the ply has stuck to the. Um, to the resin there because that all that section there is supposed to be resin so i'm going to get the sander out shortly and just sand all that uh, and then when it's when it gets a thin coat of resin uh, a finishing coat just with a mohair roll on you'll you'll see all that better but yeah you, you can you can see it by just wetting it with a rag i'll show you in uh, a short while when i've sanded that bit there but yeah not bad, looking all right. Right, just a quick update. I've got all the ply off around the edges and uh, just been sanding it down. I'd do a bit of a repair there. Um, but yeah, as you can see, I'm gonna, at least I'm gonna have a shelf now. There's <laughs> nothing else, you know what I mean? But yeah, just gonna sand it down with some 120 on the top. All the edges have been sand, sanded down, front, back and sides. So just get a coat uh, to sand it down with some 120 there. Okay, what we've done now is rubbed all the uh, resin down with some 120. <clears throat> As you can see, it goes a bit cloudy. Uh, just got that little bit sort out there, which I'm gonna do in a minute. And I've got a few lines from where I planed it here. Um, but as soon as you put the resin, final coat of resin with a, with a roller, it brings it back. So, you know, don't panic <laughs> like I did. So you just run a wet cloth over it and that gives you the general idea. You know what I mean? So yeah, I've just got them bits of sand on the front uh, and then we're going to get it back on the fireplace. Right then, we've got it back on the brackets. Just going to get the roller sorted out now for uh, rolling the final coat on. So there it is. Looks good. Here's what I'm going to be using to put the finished coat of uh, resin on the beam above the fire. It's um, Axis Decor Lime Series Wood Finish and next best thing to spray finish. So yeah, that's what I'm going to use. Um, so yeah, basically let's crack on oh, with the Hamilton uh, roller arm as well. So let's crack on and get the finishing coat on this. And what I'm going to do is get this final coat of resin on with the roller I've just uh, described here. I've just mixed the resin up in a, uh, a little container because I don't need much. So what I'm going to do is just do the top first, then I'm going to push the beam back. I've already done the back of the beam, but I only want a really thin coat on. So I'm just going to tip a little bit on. So see how we get on with that.
And as you can see, by that, it is highlighting it up. Look at that beauty. <laughs> lovely jubbly. I only want a thin coat on. That's why I'm using this fine finish roll up. Just bear one thing in mind, when you finish with these rollers, um, you can't wash them out, you've got to bin it, yeah? Because it's chemical reaction. And uh, it won't wash out with anything. So like I say, you've got, it's got to be, just bin the roller. Depending on where your beam is situated and the conditions in your house or wherever you're doing it, uh, you could get the odd cat air land on it, um, which is going to be unavo unavoidable. But there you go. Done the sides, let's get the front on. The only reason I'm using this plastic container is because uh, I've not got a roller, small roller tray. So, so, we just have to make do sometimes with what we've got. As you can see from that, you're starting to see the grain of the wood through the resin. Shame we've got to bend the roller sleeve. And that's about your lot, ladies and gentlemen. Happy days. Right, there you go. As you can see, it looks a treat. It looks as if it grew there, as they would say. And there you go. Quite impressed with that silicon actually. I think it looks uh, looks quite good. Bit of glitter in there, not a lot obviously. And then the coins. But yeah, there you go. Looks pretty good. If I do say so, myself.
video off at work because by the time I get home, it's getting dark and then the picture gets grainy. So yeah, that's basically it. I've had that rotten bean a couple of years over the fireplace. Uh, it's all uh, got resin in it now and it's finished. Um, one thing I should point out about the resin, uh, it can be poured up to 50, mil, 50 millimetres uh, thickness in one go. It's a deep cast resin. Um, the only reason I didn't do that is because I was a bit unsure about that great big crack down the middle and uh, lo and behold it did leak at the bottom. That's why I had to fill it up with uh, silicon, that's the only thing I could think of. But yeah, I think you'll agree, um, it turned out alright. I did finish it off with the Moet Roll Lot and a thin coat of resin uh, round the front, the back, the top and the sides. Uh, yeah, it turned out alright, didn't it? Um, one thing I should mention is, you can buy those type of beams off eBay and places like that, but you'll probably have to pick them up yourself. Or, you could get yourself down your local builder's merchant, get half a dozen scaffolding planks, brand new, uh, PVA and screw them together, sand them down and uh, just stain them. You could do it that way if you want. Or build a box and make it look like a, a, a mantle beam. So yeah, that's about it really. I hope you've enjoyed the content of uh, this video. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe and share from yours truly. Until next time, stay safe guys, stay safe.